we as we approached Madison Square Garden, I saw a man on a cart on a two wheel dolly, and his um, legs had been cut off at the knees. And this was during the Vietnam War, so he was obviously a soldier who had returned from the war without his legs. And it um, it just struck me so you know just deep in my soul to see this. I'd never seen anything like this, and I yelled to my dad, "Daddy, stop!" And my dad stopped walking, and he said, "What? What?" And I said, Daddy, look, I whispered in his ear, that man, he has no legs. And my dad glanced over and he said, oh, man. And I said, Daddy, we have to help him. My dad said, well, what do you mean? Like how? And I said, I don't know, Daddy, but maybe he's hungry. You have to at least give him money. And so my dad took out his wallet and uh, took out, fished out a few dollars and kind of crumpled it up in his hand, and as only, you know, a little kid could do, I reached out and I said to my dad, Daddy, give him all your money. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) And my dad glanced back up at me, and he said, really? (laughs) And I said, said, but, Daddy, he has no legs. And so my dad reached into his wallet, and he took out every single dollar he had and crumpled it up, and walked over to the guy and he said, hey, man, because, you know, everybody called everybody man in those days. Yeah. He said, hey, man, thank you for your service. Uh, and, the, and the guy just lit up because someone had stopped to talk to him and someone was thanking him for his service, which at that time, you know, the Vietnam War was very contentious. And, mm-hmm. so you know, so returning soldiers were greeted with, you know, differing levels of enthusiasm on their return home. So this guy just lit up. And then my dad went to shake his hand. And when he shook his hand, he palmed him this huge wad of cash. And the guy just looked in disbelief at my dad. And he looked at me and he looked at my dad and he said, oh, my God. He says, thank you, man. Thank you, man. God bless you, man. And then, Heather, this man looked up at me and he said, God bless you. And he said, and God bless your daughter. And he looked me right in the eye and he said, little girl, I hope you have a really great life. And Heather, I felt it in every cell of my being. All my little hairs stood up and it was such a profound moment. And, uh, and a moment later, my dad said, well, you know, man, we got to run. We got to catch a train. And we raced down into the station, into the track and got on the train. And my dad found a seat and he sat me down beside him and he was kind of laughing and crying at the same time and shaking his head. And he looked over at me and he said, thank God I have a monthly train ticket. (laughs) He said, but I have no idea how you're getting home. (laughs) And then he looked at me, Heather, and he said, Dawn Marie, I love being your father. Oh, my God. And, you know, it's funny because, you know, when you're a kid, people always ask you the question, what do you want to be when you grow up? And when when people would ask me that, um, I would always say, I want to be a performer, and I want to be a teacher, and I want to make the, the world a better place. And people would always ask me, well, what's that called? And I didn't know. And I remember asking my dad one time, Daddy, what's that called? And he said, I don't know, honey. Maybe it doesn't even exist yet. Maybe you'll invent it. Hmm. And when I think about the kind of the course that my career has taken, that's essentially what I've done. And I I truly believe that I have the confidence to stand up on a stage in front of hundreds and sometimes thousands of people and boldly ask them for money. Because the first time I ever asked anybody to give money, they did. And they gave all they had. 